That will fall on Tuesday with showers late and then changing over into the mid-60s by Wednesday and Thursday. All right, thanks, Alicia. Appreciate it. Well, the Chicago Gourmet is almost here. It will serve up a feast for foodies and wine lovers. The annual event takes place in Millennium Park next weekend. Some of you may recognize uh, the top chef finalist from Spiaggia, Sarah Grunenberg. She joins us now to preview what she's going to You actually have a special event going on. Tell us about what you're yes. going to be doing. Oh, they're moving. <laughs> I know. The clams are here. You can't they're see They're alive. Rick, they're moving. They're alive. They're all moving. So, Freaking me out a little bit. That's okay. It's all good. So, um, Chef Stephanie Izzard, you know, she won season four. Mm -hmm. Her and I are facing off with the three same ingredients. Cool. So we picked rye bread, clams, and corn. So I have my dish here. The last of summer, you know. Neat. we got to celebrate the tomatoes and the corn. We certainly do. So while you're putting that together, I'm going to ask you, what does is, what is an event like Chicago Gourmet mean to a chef and just to the restaurant community? You know, it's, it's a great food event for Chicago. There's Aspen Food and Wine. There's all these different events. But it's time for one to be in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And when you're tasting wine, eating food, and looking up at the skyline, there's nothing better. I know. It's a very, very cool event and a very cool location. And I also want to ask you just a little bit about Top Chef because I was a big fan. I love okay. watching the show. I've already interviewed her a couple of times. And I'm always like, oh, tell me more. Tell me more. But uh, There's um, lots of gossip. I know. There's such, so much drama. But one of the things I always find interesting is that it really does help raise your profile and what's it done I mean it's only oh been my a gosh. short time what's it done for your you know career? it's really jump started my career I would say 10 to 15 years wow I really? think I'm you know I'm 31 and I feel like I have so many more opportunities than I did before I went you get such great exposure you get great exposure you learn a lot about yourself I mean for me I really learned who I was and you have to fight for who you are mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you dig deep you go the next day you cook and then you come back and then you can tell all the fun stories it's like big time boot camp or something. Oh, it's it's like warrior Olympic <laughs> cooking challenge <laughs> meets survivor. Right, right. So now also all, many times we saw this on Top Chef. Uh, Tony Montuano is your mentor yes. and somebody who and you're still working with him. Absolutely. What is he? What is, was he really supportive and all that? Because he's been on a couple times himself. Yes, he was on uh, Top Chef Masters and he told me to be myself and to always play within the three minutes. If you're not <laughs> plating, you're gonna lose. And the first challenge I uh, learned that. <laughs> so are you? already done here while we've been talking or yeah what, I mean it's, you put it's the simple clams stuff in yeah so manila clams you saute them with a little olive oil finish them with cherry tomatoes scraped corn underneath you cut the corn off the cob and then you turn your knife upside down you scrape all the milk out of the corn oh, okay. and then uh, I took the rye bread and sliced it really thin like this mm -hmm. and then you put it on top of the salmon and then that's oh, seared so it looks like the skin it does look like the so skin. that'll be nice and crunchy it's beautiful and then the final touch is guanciale which is cured pork cheek and you see that right here that's the whole it looks like bacon a Cheap. little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's bacon. It's bacon from the pig's head. Very, very cool. Well, we can't wait to uh, see Chicago Gourmet and be at Chicago Gourmet. By the way, tickets are selling out, so you better go online and get the oh. for more information. You can go to the uh, IllinoisRestaurants.org, IllinoisRestaurants.org, and if you want to try to win free tickets to Chicago Gourmet on Sunday, September 30th, go to NBC5 News' Facebook page, and that is a ticket worth getting because it's a Absolutely. fun event, isn't it? There's three days of great events. Friday's the hamburger hop. Sold out already. Sold out. Sold out. Then you have tastings and wine tastings, so great time. And a good time to see Sarah. Thanks, Sarah. Appreciate you coming Thank in. Thank you.